Hi guys, we are looking for Forex traders just like you to take part in our educational challenge. You can earn while you learn. The goal, the purpose of this educational challenge is for you to become a pro trader and trade capital of up to $500,000. You will be given access to a bespoke indicator that has been developed by expert traders over many years. This indicator makes it easy to identify buying and selling opportunities in the market. So if you think you've got what it takes to complete this challenge, then click on the link below. traders welcome back to simply forex i hope you're all well uh today is friday Woohoo! every day feels like friday i'm on holiday but today is officially friday and it's the 21st of april guys and as always we'll look back at yesterday's trades we'll look at today's potential trades and we'll look at the important news for today as well guys all right so let's start with yesterday's trades um before i do a few things First of all, join the Discord, guys, if you haven't already. Join Discord. We've also got VIP Discord with loads of great benefits. Check it out. The link is in the uh, video description. Secondly, guys, if you would like to be mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself, then drop us an email and we'll send you all the information of the mentorship program. Um, also, guys, we're running an educational challenge at the moment where we give you a bespoke indicator and you can learn and use this to make money, guys. All right, you do have to pay for the challenge, but the rewards are, are good as well, guys. All right, and there's a new thing, guys. We've also got YouTube membership now. So if you would like to support um, this channel, simply Forex, then we have YouTube mentorship at YouTube membership as well. All the information for all of these things are in the video description, guys. Um, right then, news from yesterday. So Aussie dollar, Swiss franc. This is what we were looking at. Why were we looking at it? Well, let me tell you. So we were in a downtrend, guys. Okay, price was a little bit up and down. But as soon as we get a break of all of these lows here, even these lows, we're still in a downtrend. All right, and we've had a pop up to this gray zone and potentially back down again. So that's structurally what we're looking for. If I zoom in now, guys, we also had, you know, these couple of candles that really rejected this gray zone. And also yesterday's candle, guys, look, that's been exactly the same. So if you're in this trade, yeah, good. It's still going to come down and reach, reach the last lows, guys, all right? Is there enough new uh, movement in here for us today? Probably not. But if you got in this trade yesterday, you know, then, yeah, you, you'll be in a good trade, guys. Uh, but that was the idea. If we drop down to the H1, I'm going to show you the beauty of hedging just quickly. All right. So hedging is something I talk about a lot in my VIP discord. And there's, you know, there's lots of uh, ways and, and how I, I do this, how I hedge. But this will be a perfect example of a great hedge. So what did we say, guys? We said we could enter from this gray zone if we got a break and retest, which we did. Or we could enter from this gray zone if we got a bearish reaction up here as well, which we did. So, guys, let's imagine, you know, this is, uh, let's zoom in a little bit. This is the first candle that you entered on, this candle here. Okay. And that would be a perfectly reasonable idea. You enter on this candle, yeah, you put your stop here, and you're looking to take price lower. Okay, reasonable. But, yeah, your stop would have got taken out. But instead, guys, I use a hedge here, not a stop. So I am now in a buy order. Okay, and a sell. All right, so we've bought this buy order. I'm in this buy. But then we get this candle form in our second gray zone so i will close this buy yeah and put another buy order above here as a stop loss as a protection and then i will let it come down so yeah i'd close here so i've taken some profit to the upside yeah because our first entry wasn't the right time yeah took some profit back up to here this is all profit closed it and then from my original sell, 
I am now back in profit with this original sell as well. Okay, so that's how I use a hedge. Um, like I say, guys, I, I don't have enough time to go into detail about it. But like I say, lots of things on the VIP Discord. Um, yeah, and now we'll be seeing this in profit. We've already made this profit. You know, that's how I would have traded this Aussie dollar Swiss franc. All right, it would have been a lovely trade for me yesterday. Um, but yeah, like I say, guys, we had this candle and we had this candle. We had a couple of entries on this pair. Um, let me know how you traded it, yeah? Um, next one from yesterday, guys, was this. It was the Canadian dollar against the Japanese yen. This also did what we expected it to do and is continuing to do. Um, right, so day chart. Yeah, so what we were looking at, guys, it was against trend, all right? But we were at this very important resistance level up here, okay? And if I zoom in, yeah, we were seeing these candles form at that level. Yeah, sellers are taking control. And then sure enough, bang, yeah, it come down and hit our target quite quickly. And it's continuing to come down. Um, so that was the idea to short this pair. If we look at the H1 chart now, okay, that is still coming down. All right, and this is what we were seeing, guys. We wanted, this was our entry gray zone up here. Okay, could have come back up here, but it didn't. So where could we enter? So for me, yeah, this this candle, although it would have been a brilliant entry, is not bearish enough for me. Yeah, it did react in our grey zone, but maybe this candle followed with this bearish candle. This would be okay because we've got indecision followed by sellers. Okay, so we could have entered on this candle, put your stop or hedge above here and take price lower. Yeah, that would have been the candles for me to enter on. Um, none of the others really are because we keep seeing all these wicks. This candle is, but then it's obviously down and hit target. Um, so yeah, in here, guys, that would have been a good entry. Um, I hope you took the trade. And finally, guys, the last trade from yesterday was this. It was oil. Um, you are oil. Doesn't quite work, does it? Um, day chart. Well, no, let's start with this H out for uh, H4, guys, because I want to just show you this gap. I've been talking about this gap for about four years now. Okay, and as you can see, it's slowly starting to get filled now. Yeah, like I say, most times these gaps will get filled, guys, and this is no difference. It took lots of time up here, but now you can see it coming down. Okay, so that's what we were looking at. If you look at if we start with the daily chart, though, guys, yeah, we were also seeing this. So this gray zone up here is a very important weekly resistance level, and we got this candle that broke these lows here. Okay, so technically almost a downtrend if you class these as last lows um so the idea was just to follow this downward momentum yeah all the way potentially back down to this blue line because this blue line fills that gap okay so we're looking to short it if we look at the h1 now it was just difficult to get in guys yeah so like i said if we zoom out we can see this gap yeah this gap over here so this last area here. So that's why I've got this blue target here. I still think this is going to make it down to here and fill this gap. Even today, guys, this would be a trade idea. Um, but on the H1, it was so difficult to enter, guys. Yeah, you know, by the time we were looking at the market, price was around here. We didn't get that retrace that we were hoping for into here before we come lower. And then where could we really enter? I mean, there was this candle. Okay, so this would have just tells me that sellers are continuing to push this lower, but we was already at our first target at this point. So, yeah, because we didn't get this retrace and we didn't get any real clear candles, you know, clear candles early on here. Yeah, it was difficult to trade, guys, but direction has been good and it's been coming down ever since. And I think it will continue to come down. All right, but again, let me know how you traded it, guys um okay so those were all the trades from yesterday let's take a look at today's trades now
Guys, I hope you enjoyed the recap. If you did, come join us. Yes, yeah, subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button, and smash the like button. We would love to have you with us. Um, right, guys. So, yeah, before we look at today's trade ideas, just a few things. Uh, first of all, join the Discord channel. We've got Discord channel and VIP Discord. In the VIP Discord, guys, you have access to me throughout the day, and I give you all my trade alerts. You have exclusive content, and you have access to a performance coach. VIP Discord is cool. Um, secondly, guys, if you would like to be mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself, then drop us an email, and we'll send you all the information about the mentorship program. Thirdly, we've got the educational challenge. Uh, where we give you a bespoke indicator. You can learn how to use this indicator and make money while you do. Um, you do have to pay for this challenge, but the rewards are very good. And lastly, guys, we've now started YouTube membership. So if you would like to be a member of this channel and just support the channel, then there are a couple of options that you can select, guys. So yeah, come be a member of Simply Forex. Okay, enough of all that, guys. Let's take a look at today's trades for Friday, the 21st of April. All right, so first of all, I'm looking at this one, guys. And this is US dollar against the Swiss franc. And I'm looking to short this pair. Yeah, so ever since we broke this low here, yeah, we have been in a downtrend. Okay, lower lows, lower highs, bit of messing around here, but then come back down. Yeah, we are clearly in a downtrend all right this is what we're seeing yeah lower highs lower lows all right the definition of a downtrend okay if i zoom in now yeah i also like yesterday's candle look how bearish this candle is and you know why i really like it because there's no bottom wick yeah that is just all selling pressure so the idea is just to take it back down to these daily lows. Yeah, there's not much room in there, guys. But there's still a good 30, 30 odd pips as we speak. Yeah, 30, odd, 30 pips would do me for the day sometimes, guys. Make 30 pips, leave, drop the mic, go out. Um, but yeah, that's what we're looking to do, guys. Looking to short this pair. If we drop down to the H1, what are we looking for? So for me, guys, yeah, there's... This grey zone is potentially where we could enter because we've had price react here, 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 here. So what I want to see is price come up into this grey zone. I want to see a bearish reaction. Then we can enter the trade and take it back down to our target. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking to do with US dollar Swiss franc. Short this pair. Um, yeah, it. Guys, if it breaks out of this grey zone, if, if if it starts doing this, yeah, and breaks out of this grey zone, then chances are it will come back up and test these highs because H1 structure would have would have changed to the upside. All right, so I need this grey zone to hold really. All right, guys. So yeah, that's what we're looking at for US dollar Swiss franc shorting this pair. The next trade idea is this, guys. It is Aussie dollar against the New Zealand dollar. If we look at the day chart, yeah, we're clearly in an uptrend now. Okay, so we were in a downtrend. Yeah, but then bang. Okay, ever since we broke these highs, we have then had higher highs. Okay, so we're in an uptrend. Um, also, guys, yeah, we've got this super strong bullish daily candle, yeah, which you can see here. So all I'm looking for is a bit of a retrace and then take price back up to this level. Okay, this psychological level here, guys, is 101,000. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the idea. If we look at the H1, what do I want to see? So... <sighs> It was tricky, really, but this is a grey zone. It's quite a large grey zone because we've got this, this, this to take into consideration. All right. If we look on the H4, actually, this grey zone might make a bit more sense. Yeah, you can see we're taking into account these highs and these highs. Okay. Back to the H1. So really, guys, I'd like to see price retrace into this grey zone. because this, this will give us real value. 
If it does that, I want to see a bullish reaction. We can then take price back up to these highs where I will close 80%. That's how I roll. And then I'll leave 20% to run. Okay. So that's what I'd be looking to do. Because that daily candle is so bullish, you know, we could trade, let's say the next candle was a big green candle like this. Then again, we could enter here, put our stop below here and take this up as well, guys, because that daily candle is quite bullish. Um, so let's see. Let's see. We, we can trade the first bullish H1 candle we see. Um, but we are looking for longs on Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. Um, and the last trade for today is this. It is oil. Yeah, the black gold. And you know I've been trying to fill this gap for, you know, 13 years. So it's all about this gap, guys. This gap up that never got filled. Okay, we had this huge gap up. And now price is starting to fill this gap. So I do still think we have a bit more room until it's fully filled. Um, if we look at the day chart as well, guys, you know, this is also giving us the reasons to enter the trade. Yeah, look at look at these last two candles. Yeah, super duper bearish. All right. So the idea is just to take price back down to this blue line, even potentially this last area of resistance, this gray zone. Okay. Um, if we drop down to the H1 now, where can we realistically enter? So you know, guys, price might retrace up here and just test these, this last area of H1 resistance. Okay? If it does, great. We can get in once we get a bearish reaction. Yeah, take price lower. Or price could even test these lows, guys, up here. You know, we just need a bearish reaction and then price comes lower as well. But judging by that daily candle, yeah, it might just react in here. Yeah, it doesn't need a lot of a retrace because that selling pressure is so strong. All right, but let's see. Okay, but yeah, we do need that bearish reaction. It's important we get that, guys. Otherwise, no trade. Um, right, guys. So yeah, they're the three trade ideas for the day. And if you would like to receive my trade ideas every day, I give them to you every day. And also my gray zones, then come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel smash the notification button and smash the like button join discord uh join our youtube tube get my teeth in uh join our youtube tube still can't say it. um join our youtube membership program that is not easy to say or it's too early in the morning i'm not sure i've been drinking again um okay guys yes yeah, so join that um let's take a look at the news now <laughs> So news for Friday the 21st of April. It's Friday. Woohoo! Um, so first piece of news we're interested in, guys, is this. Yeah, at seven o'clock, London GMT, we've got retail sales. Okay, so this is a three-star rating. This would really move uh, any pound pair. And then at eight o'clock, um, to be honest with you guys, I think that is a mistake. That is the same piece of news coming out at seven o'clock. All right, so retail sales, 7 o'clock, London GMT time. If we carry on down, at 8.30, London GMT, we've also got uh, German manufacturing PMI coming out of the euro, so this could move any euro pair. If we carry on down at 9.30, we've got three lots of PMI data coming out of the UK. So this is really going to move the pound, guys, yeah? Three three-star ratings, so must be aware of this. Um, we carry on down 130 London GMT core retail sales coming out of Canada. That's going to move the Canadian dollar. And then after that, guys, as you can see, no more news. You are free as a bird. All right, guys, so that's the end of the vid. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, subscribe to the channel, join Discord, uh, join YouTube membership as well, guys. We'd love to have you. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I'll catch up with you on Monday.